And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lulu Draven. That's right, we got another new Lulu deck. We're going to be trying it with Noxus and Draven. This is a viewer submitted donation deck that looks really cool. We're going to kind of be built around Quick Attack. We're going to have this Flurry of Fists that uh, if we have an ally that has Quick Attack, we get to grant it double attack for three mana. And we have lots of ways to give Quick Attack. We got Legion Drummer and Young Witch both supporting, giving Quick Attack. Of course, those support things are really good at leveling up Lulu as well. Plus, we got a couple copies of Rush. And then we have like our champion like Draven that has Quick Attack anyway. So really, we, like, we were going to want to level up our Draven. Because if we if we do level up Draven, you know, hit some Spinning Axes, it'll still have the Quick Attack, but then it gets the Overwhelm. And that's pretty clutch. If we can have the Overwhelm with that Flurry of Fists, that can do a lot of damage. So we do have a couple Whirling Deaths in here to help this Draven level up whenever it's striking. We also have a couple of Fey Guides. This, is a, uh, got, this card just got buffed. I've always liked this card anyway at 3-3. Three, three. Now it's 3-4, so even better, to be able to grant Elusive so we can give like our Draven or our Lulu Elusive. Always like doing that. We have Kato in here. We should have Draven quite a bit because we do have the two Draven's biggest fans to help us find Draven as well. So since like maybe we have more Spinning Axes, we have the Survival Skills to be able to discard two Spinning Axe to help keep stuff alive. One Captain Farron at the top end just to finish out games. A Spirit's Refuge for a little bit of life steal. And that's kind of about it. The last thing I want to talk about is our challengers. We got Glory Seeker, of course, which is a good card, but also Affectionate Poro is just an underrated card, I think. And so both of these challengers should do good with our quick attack support. You know, like Young Witch turns Affectionate Poro into Fleet Feather Tracker plus Quick Attack, um, attacking on turn two. That's a really nice combination. But then also Lulu, right? Like we want to have good things for Lulu to support. Lulu supporting Affectionate Poro turns this Poro into a 4-4 Challenger, you know, which that's huge. You know, 4-4 Challenger is rough. And so like that's that's pretty cool. So we can have that like already on turn three. You know, like that's basically like that uh, five mana Demacia Dragon, which, which we can have on turn three. So uh, yeah, that's kind of what we got. Let's give it a try. Lulu Draven. We'll go play our five games in Ranked. Ooh. Other, like, burn decks can definitely be a problem. We got Pirate Burn. All right, I love Whirling Death. So, Noxion Fervor is, like, the one card that they have that, um, that will stop me. And I, I hope they don't have it. We got Lulu and Draven. See, this would have been a great hand to have Affection of Poro turn one and then go Young Witch turn two challenge. That would have been really nice. Victory requires a sharp blade. I could kind of see playing... I could kind of see playing nothing this turn to see if they play something and I would get to Draven Whirling Death the next turn. Looks like they're keeping <clears throat> keeping fervor alive. Axes coming right up. You're mine. If they don't play fervor, this play is pretty bad of me not playing Young Witch and supporting with Young Witch. It just feels like fervor with them keeping the one mana up. Nope, it was another one of those. Alright, well that play that play was really bad by me. So I could still just have my 5-1 alive.
All right, let's go. Because I'm pretty sure they're just dead here, right? Like, I, I don't think they can survive. Like, they should just be dead. Because I get to I get to play all these spinning axes this next turn and double attack. If Fervor is their only spell... Oh, no, because they get to Fervor this 0-1. Mm, I was going to say they have nothing to Fervor, but they have this 0-1 out. Uh, so I guess they couldn't Fervor the 0-1. All right, I just shouldn't have blocked. I, I shouldn't have blocked. Wait, no, I had to block. Cause, cause it, so I should have blocked one of those two that I went took damage on. But then they would be able to double fervor. Hmm. Yeah, not the, I guess not the best play. Getting this to two health. Remember the objective. So they could still have the spider alive and Draven be a 4-4. And that's what I that's what I should have done. Because then if Draven's a 4-4. I guess it's, it's still not even lethal anyway. Yeah, it's still not even lethal anyway. Now we're cooking. That card's pretty great. That's the card we need on the top of our Gangplank's Fate deck instead of the Dreadway. We need this card. Got an axe with your name on it. Yeah, I don't really know how I survive. Hey, buddy, what you do? This is gonna hurt for you. Got an axe with your name on it. It's no matter what I go to. Two. All right, we just need to top deck another Draven, and we need them to not have Fervor or Decimate. I need to be a little bit more specific whenever I say top deck another Draven. Probably should have been a little bit more specific. Just a little bit. Gotta go with the flow. I thought it was, but I guess I wasn't. Remember the objectives. For the glory of Noxus. Okay, 0 and 1. Yeah, keeps him. Yep. Okay. Another aggro deck, another Draven deck. Another deck with Burn. I like the Spirit's Refuge. I think I like this hand. I think I like the Sonic Wave ha allow me to have my Draven challenge their Draven slash Jinx. Good games later. I think it's a... Decent hand. Don't love that bite. Oh, that was Finally, some action. So it looks like Draven's yeah, biggest okay. fan tells your opponent whether or not you have it. Like, so I think they should know that I have a Draven in hand just right now because it didn't do the animation on the deck. And it does the animation on the deck um, when you don't have it. So I guess, so I guess that is some extra information that you can give. Could have elusive Draven. They just didn't attack. Really? Just no attack? None? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just surprised. Let them see me, not you. Is that all you 
All right, so they have two blade fragments in hand out of these five cards. With that challenge, a good thing that that like that attacking with the three four and having them block a good thing that happened there is now the Draven is the, um, the strongest ally. Before it was the Fey Guide. So that was important. It is me. Probably just use this other spinning axe here to level up Draven. I could might Kato and do a bunch of damage to them, but I'm just gonna save it because I don't know. So what it would do seven damage to them? So put them down to six. If I use might. But then that takes up my turn. I don't love that taking up my turn. I I can just do that next turn and kill them. Next turn with that. See? That's why. Alright, lifesteal barrier or deny. Let's go here. They're both equally as safe. Like, the, the cards that stop either one, you know, like, stop them both. So it's basically which one would I rather have later on. I think I'd rather just like go to 20 and hold up Deny for uh, like the deal 4 damage type cards and stuff like that. I think that was just a regular get it. Yeah, that was just a regular get excited. Okay, and it, it discarded. Scrap Scuttler. Love it. So glad we kept an eye. That keeps them from discarding their hand and drawing three. They do not get to do that. Alright, well that was big. What time is it? That was big. Um, this right here puts them to one. Now we're cooking. I should have done it on this Kato. I should have done it on this Kato. Because then that would have been seven. Yeah, I should have done it on the Kato. I thought about it right after I did it, too. Right after I did it, I realized... You know, because instinct, Instincts was like, okay, this is 8, this is 7, do it on the one that's 7. But this is getting 7 damage across, this is getting 5 damage across. So I needed to make it 6 and 7 so that either one of these... Because this... Because might here is... I mean, so I just messed this up. Yeah, that was a really big mistake. I noticed it right after I did it, too. And I, I didn't really say anything. I was hoping my opponent just didn't... Didn't really punish me for it, but... Huge mistake. Stay hidden. So this this should have been a win, right? If I just do it on that other one, this is a win. But yeah, that was a huge mistake. Looks like we're gonna lose this now. The party has arrived. The answer is yes, 
That was my bad. Well, that really should have been a win. I just, I just targeted the wrong thing, but that's why you, you gotta learn, <laughs> you know? <laughs> you just gotta learn, but my instincts were off. I just played, played on instincts, and that was off, and noticed that right after I made that play. Okay, Lissandra Trundle with um, a bunch of bounce. I guess I need to keep Deny. Deny's awesome in this matchup. But, oh, come on, really? Triple Lulu? We haven't had, like, a much of a curve out yet in this game. Like, in these games. Like, we got eight two drops. <laughs> the three sisters. <laughs> we have the three sisters in hand. Lulu, Lulu, and Lulu. Well, this isn't the we could whimsy a watcher. Not a good card. The party has arrived. I really should have won that last game. This one hasn't worked as well for us. Lulu's never been good against Avalanche decks. I've played a lot of Lulu, and I have always really struggled with these probably or control decks. I really, like, this one's not, probably not going to be a win. I really needed to win at that last game. been disappointing <laughs> all these spells are just so bad like you know like none of these are protection spells right like my my sonic wave they're great in some matchups but this matchup they're just you know laughable it it's unfortunate they need to be you know denies nopifies or things that like increase our health twin disciplines like that kind of stuff for this matchup but i don't really see anything to do We're, we just don't match up against sweepers. We found the majority of spells in our deck. I'm just getting getting really punished for for not winning that last game. Whenever we, uh, you know, playing against a really bad matchup and then just drawing terribly. Just really punished for not winning that last one. 
Okay. Alright, playing against deep. This will be better. There we go. We got our, our best curve so far. I mean, we don't have any of our eight two mana cards, but still it's our best curve so far. Okay, there's the two drop. So no protection against like Vile Feast and Withering Whales, but it shouldn't be an Avalanche deck. I don't know why they would just play Maokai, but that would be like the best thing ever if they would just play Maokai. Okay, no, they just did the treasures. Okay. Alright, there we go. So we have our Affection Poro being that 4 4 challenger. Okay, second Vile Feast. Got tossed. Good card to toss. There we go. Rush is a good spell. Getting better. This is more of a hand. Um, so far, it hasn't really affected too much, the 2-3 three or 3-3 three, three Lulu. But we haven't had Lulu that much. It's still some extra damage. They had nothing to do that turn. They must have a, seven, a bunch of 7-mana sea monsters between Nautilus and like the 7-mana seven 7-5. Seven Yeah, that'll, that'll work. Autographs after the fight, kid. Uh, autographs after. Oh, God. Okay. All me, and maybe those other guys. Whatever. Yeah, good thing they didn't find, like, as far as the treasure goes, they could have found the deal 5 damage to everything card. Good thing they didn't find that. Not as bad against, like, File Feast. Hey, we get a Lulu Mirror. They're going with Zoe. And some Targon. This is gone. That's gone. I'm going to keep the survival skills with the Draven. That does sound pretty interesting. Hmm. good news is we've drawn our champions really well in these games, but we have a whole lot more 1 and 2 mana units than 3 mana units. It just hasn't looked like it. It's like, I can block their thing and then survival skills my Draven and kill their Mountain Goat. Otherwise, if I play Lulu, we don't get to that's that's gotta be worth it. Getting that mountain goat out of here for that. That gets us halfway towards leveling up Draven as well. Side. 
I would love to level up Draven right now, but I, you know, I don't really want to discard Lulu or Flurry of this. Probably spinning axe. I should have spinning axe first. Oh yeah, because I should be leveling up the Draven right there. Uh, it's Draven time. Looking good, kid. We still got plenty of life. I think we're doing okay. Grant elusive. Spark and I will keep you safe. <laughs> fix this job, Samo. There's nothing a good giggle can't fix. Skipping faster. Oh, me, go on, Pip. Just like the yellow bloop said. Perfecto. Hey, buddy, what you do? Could see them using Hush. Would I want to kill... Like, which one of these two do I want to kill? Because if I kill the Sparklefly, they stay at 5. And, you know, like, maybe we kill Sparklefly, kill this here. They stay at 5, they have 2 blockers. We have, like, a really good open attack. Alright. Because I want to keep Draven alive for this Flurry of Fizz. That's the card that our deck's been missing, nope, fine. And that may not actually be accurate, but... I think I do play this. So I can go for lethal, or I kill their Lulu. So we can we can do two extra damage here with these things. I'm gonna try that. Are we gonna try lethal attack? Nope, not lethal attack. So I guess I should have killed Lulu. They would have had Pill Cascade. So I could have. Could have done like the quick attack and the. And that and killed one of them. It's like the idea of. Like the Flurry of Fists, Sonic Wave, Might, like these cards, they, they seem good, but it looks like in practice all of these spells just aren't, they don't pull their weight in practice because of how important 
how important being able to play your spells in both combats are, because all of these spells are, are spells that, you know, might Flurry of Fist, Sonic Wave, they only affect attacking and they only help us attack. And that's been a big problem. Our opponents had spells, you know, like Pale Cascade. Those helped in both combats. And that's why they are winning. Besides Targon, just having good card advantage. So I could do 9 damage to them with this, theoretically. So our best chance of winning is they forget to block and accidentally click OK. And take 10. That's our only chance of winning. Just click OK. Click OK. Take it. Take it. No. They blocked. So I think I think that's really what we learned from this deck was um, you got to have your your spells have to be able to you know be flexible and be used in multiple scenarios, um, but might I mean whirling death could play on defense you know so it, it did pretty well but you know like the might the flurry of the fist and the sonic wave all three of those cards really underperformed. Now again I I made one really bad spinning axe decision. This really should have been two and three, not as bad as one and four. You know, like I, I noticed it as soon as I did it as well. Like we, you know, we should have won at that other game, but, um, yeah. So like maybe, so yeah, all those spells pretty, pretty much underperformed. So maybe playing cards like transfusion, um, the new, uh, yeah, like, so like transfusion, cause you can use that on offense or defense. Um, the new card that, that, uh, gives plus three, plus two. A sharpened resolve um, with the plus three plus two, you know, like stuff like that, I think could have maybe uh, done better. But I think there's a lot of good stuff in this kind of deck. I've played I've played decks very similar to this before. I've used Lulu and Shen together with Noxus in those kind of decks. And I think that actually would have been better for us instead of playing Draven, playing Shen also because of how big Shen is. And how Shen helps in combat. Also another support with the uh, barrier and everything. And kind of building around that. Um, like we've done before. But you know like we tried something different. We tried Draven and Flurry of the Fist. And that's and it's always good to explore. right? Like we want to just keep exploring. Um, but as far as like Ionia, Noxus, Lulu deck. I think going with Shen is the way to go with these. All right, so there we go. So that's Lulu Draven. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments as well. Um, let me know how you have been experimenting with Lulu decks. We're gonna keep on uh, you know, trying out some some other ones, maybe some more uh, traditional Lulu decks. We've been we've been trying some, some uh, weird ones yesterday and today. All right, but anyway, that's it for Lulu Draven. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.